Hello traders, in this video we'll cover also the opportunity on Euro US dollar we had last week. So it's uh, quite similar as uh, gold opportunity we covered before in the first video. Uh, so last week we had quite a lot of opportunities, so we will cover some of those uh, for our YouTube channel, for those who are not in our private mentoring sessions and live trading. And uh, yes, this is the, uh, the post we uh, mentioned last time uh, where we uh, covered the gold and uh, every other markets and we also said we are watching the GBP US dollar and Euro US dollar so we were looking on the daily chart for possible a uh, higher low to be confirmed and possible reaction to the upside where we can look for lower time frames trading opportunities and uh, this is the daily time frame and on the 4 hourly uh, we uh, said we are looking for possible uh, structure change to the upside and uh, then we can use 4 hourly or 1 hourly uh, time frame in order to look for this uh, reaction to the upside and to uh, get some nice uh, trades and opportunities there. So GPP US dollar that was the charts we mentioned before and uh, Euro US dollar what was not uh, was nothing different actually uh, so we were looking for the same thing uh, so on the daily we had this a bullish structure market retrace back uh, to the discount area and we said we are looking for possible reaction to the upside in order to uh, trade a bullish bounce back up higher in case the uh, higher low will be uh, confirmed there. So uh, this was uh, Euro usual daily time frame and on the 4 hourly uh, what we uh, saw on the 4 hourly if we zoom out uh, here is the uh, bearish uh, structure on the 4 hour time frame. We had bearish structure for many many days and we said at some point because uh, daily is still bullish uh, at some point we can expect a pos possible rotation uh, from the bullish uh, from the bearish structure to the bullish structure and we can look for possible rotation and opportunities uh, to the upside and this is exactly what we uh, we're looking for here on the euro us uh, dollar so we had many lower highs here and as you can see on tuesday we had nice lower high here as you can see we had this lower high there uh, we had lower low market retraced back and then uh, there was no momentum yet and more for uh, more continuation lower so this lower high was established and we said we are looking for possible rotation to the upside uh, in order to look for possible trading opportunities to the upside in the direction of the daily and 4 hourly charts and uh, when this rotation happens and when this structure change then of course uh, we are looking for potential 4 hourly or 1 hourly uh, opportunities so on the 4 hourly uh, we are looking for fair value gaps we are looking for a move from premium to the discount zone uh, in order to look for potential trading opportunities and in this case on the 4 hourly I didn't see anything worth uh, trading but on the 1 hourly the price action was really beautiful uh, textbook and uh, as you can see if I zoom out you can see uh, here we had this bearish structure on the 4 hour and 1 hour chart and there was no momentum more for continuation lower so this was the last major swing low uh, I mean uh, lower high sorry and uh, we said we are looking for possible breakout to the upside and uh, looking for uh, opportunities in order to uh, trade st structural change to the upside so on the 1 hour as you can see uh, during the night uh, we didn't have any uh, opportunity here of course if you are not watching, your, if you are not waiting for uh, fair value gaps, then of course you could uh, take advantage of this uh, retracement and structural change to the upside. You can, you could look for opportunities, but personally what I'm looking for is always uh, this fair value gap on the structural change. So as you can see, uh, during the night price uh, retraced and uh, bounced from the lows again. So previous resistance became support here. And as you can see on the break to the upside, we had nice strong bullish candle. So between first candle, second and third, uh, we had this nice fair value gap on the break to the upside. Uh, so this was the level we said we want to watch for. Uh, and as, as you can see, uh, what happened after on the break to the upside, we had nice, a nice retracement back into the discount area. So we had this break from the swing low to the swing high market moved around 50 pips to the upside 
and uh, if you measure from the low to the to the high uh, we said we are looking for a retracement back to the discount zone so at this point of time we had bullish structure on the four hour and one hour time frame and daily as well we had structure change to the upside price broke previous swing uh, highs took out this uh, liquidity and on the break to the upside we had this fair value gap uh, zone here so we said we are looking for potential retracement back to the discount area and we are waiting for a reaction and a reaction happened there as you can see nice smooth retracement and then nice bullish candle that closed uh, close to this discount zone so this is your entry this is your spot and uh, area where we want to look for uh, trading opportunities entry here stop loss goes below the structure below the lows in this case around 30 uh, pips and then you can target one to one 30 pips or one to two around 60 pips in terms of risk and reward ratio and that's how you can look for trading opportunities that's how we trade the markets uh, on weekly uh, basis so if you don't understand our criteria make sure you check uh, the previous videos and if you have if you have any questions or comments uh, just uh, send them over and don't forget to also check my website uh, where we uh, where i actually offer my trading uh, ebook and also uh, private mentoring uh, sessions to really grasp this concept and that's how you can look uh, for trading opportunities that's how you can manage them and manage the risk of course not every trade will be a winner but that's how uh, you can find nice high probability trading opportunities on a weekly basis and that's how you can make nice returns so if you risk let's say one percent you can make one or two percent return if you risk two percent per trade you can make uh, two or up to four percent on those uh, trading setups alone so of course uh, you will uh, have losing trades at some point also but uh, you have to of course understand this this is just part of the business of the trading business and if you manage the risk correctly uh, then of course you can grow your uh, trading account uh, steadily uh, consistently and uh, with the right discipline and patience so make sure you uh, find your of course uh, uh, your trading criteria, uh, apply them consistently and you will be successful on the long term so thanks for watching and i wish you a lot of success health and we catch up so take care